Chicago, Chicago represent for sure. Yes, sir. And they're all ready. Let's go. Combatants are set. Let's get into this. Yep. Uh, uh, they're confirming best of, best of five. And we are off. Oh, it's been on. I got it right. Did. Oh. Versus Teddy. Gara doing the doing the pitching. <laughs> all good, all good. There we go. Gara still's a nice uh, start right now, and uh, yes, this should be best of five. So yes, hopefully right. they're able to hear us a little bit, even though we're not able to. Yeah, I, 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 I think we'll do them. I get the the hand the hand okay. for best of five. Best of five. Cool, cool, cool. Which is just so they know. Five. <laughs> five. <laughs> Number five. Best K and D operatives. Why am I blanking on number five? Was that, <laughs> was that the Australian? Number three. Nah, number number four is all the, all the Australian. That's right. It's it's number uh, two. Is, uh, Hoagie. Name is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hoagie. Yeah. Or the no, Wally. No, Hoagie was two. Yeah, Ho Hoagie is uh, number two, and then uh, Wally is number four. Oh, that's right. The the girl is the number five. The uh, Cree. Cree. Yeah, Cree yeah. Summers voice actor. Cree Summers uh, character. Yeah. Ooh! All right. But uh, as we were talking about the funny K and D, <laughs> uh, Vid gets the first dot and is cooking right now with that revenge. Yeah, I was talking to someone earlier about the fact that I really think that like people really overestimate, not overestimate, they underestimate how good uh, Incineroar is in general, just because he yeah. is. You know, grapplers are such a weird niche thing in Smash. Did it really exist? Yeah. Uh, before Incineroar. I mean, you know, you kind of had like Bowser you kind of had like you kind of had Bowser and DK, but they didn't work in the same way that a grappler normally does in like fighting games. Yeah. Before it was just like you press a button incorrectly, you're gonna get cracked and die in like 30. Yep. Uh, whereas Incineroar has a lot more of like that, like that right there. Yeah, that. that. Did. The Alolan whipping Nene. Yeah. <laughs> where, where, where essentially you, uh, you're pressuring a specific area. And then you're getting like really cerebral with how you're making your choices. Yep. So you're you're starting to think like, okay, this person did this aerial at this point, all these things, and it makes like so. Yeah. So every option you do pressures the player into being terrified of taking 60 damage. Yeah. Especially with revenge. Cause uh, I will hit this move and you will almost die or die. But uh, yeah, Teddy is already in a tough situation right now. Being down a whole stock against yeah. uh, <laughs> Incineroar of all characters, that's where you don't want to be. And keep in mind, this is, oh, you know what I was afraid of? I was afraid Vidrock was going to do uh, an empty, empty land into, um, oh, bye -bye. Uh, something mind. like that. But I was going to say, he, I thought he was going to empty land and then just do the uh, the Darkest Lariat. Dark, oh, that yeah, channeling the Sky J, <laughs> the Sky J tech. Yeah. Man, I, I, I'm so sad. Oh, oh, oh. Jesus. No, 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 Straight no. to the dome. But still alive. But very, very bad position for Eddie to be, Eddie to be in. Yeah. Nah, he's oh, no, he's no. Low. A little too low. Yeah, little, yeah. I don't know if he could have made that. Uh, yeah, I don't think he could have made that bad. I was about to say, what if he died intentionally just to unsail the forwarder? <laughs> no, that, 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 that dash attack it, should. Definitely did. Yeah. A, a little sus BI, potentially. True. I, I mean, I would. That, that's definitely also Teddy was trying to get a like dance around. Yeah. That's just, that's the one uh, one of the struggles with DI how it works in Smash Four and in Ultimate where they you know they switch it from how Melee and Brawl and Smash Sixty I think Smash Sixty Four DI I can't remember off the yeah. top of my head. Something but, like um, that. Where where it's you want to always DI perpendicular. Yes. Now it's you just want to DI in the opposite direction. <laughs> yep. Uh, which you know it makes it simpler um, mentally. Um, but also, it makes it so if you're holding out and you get hit by a move that will kill you, if you're not holding out, you're going to die even faster. Yep. Yep. That's how it rolls. Right, hey, it looks like you're going to have a friend. Me buddy. Me amigo. Mr. Trolling the Tactics. Strategically trolling. All right. Yo, you, what's since up, everybody? What's up? All right. I hope the mic is operational. Yep, but you are good. You are good. All right. I hear everybody loud and clear. But I didn't commentate last week, so here I am. Yeah. Oh, so we got Teddy, who uh, had a killer run to top eight versus Vidrocker, you know, in Cinderella's top tier now. Yep, top um, tier. So we got the honest Lucina versus the dishonest. <laughs> <laughs> dishonest. I mean, as, we, as we've learned, uh, better than 
Uh, Power Tana. Tana. Of Power course, Tana. of course. Yes. And we got Psycho Soldier. Turn up. Oh, we got oh, the Japanese, Japanese version. version. Hell yeah. This could honestly, like, this, I, I really like it. Sort of when the game came out, I was like, wow, his moves just feel really fun and fluid. But, like, it was crazy watching Sky J, and now it's like, wow, this character just cheats. Just cheats. Even Sky J said, he's like, where do you think Sky, uh, where do you think it's in, in the material list? He's like, eh, it doesn't matter. People get nervous against it. <laughs> and I'm like, wow, well spoken. True. He was right. He was right. Let's see if Teddy will uh, be able to keep it together under the pressure. You know, you, you, Incineroar hits one revenge, and you're scared. Because, you know, like, you get hit with a counter, you know, whether even if it's, like, a beefy counter, like a Joker counter or a Sephiroth counter, and you get launched and take 40%, and you're like, whatever, I'm done with it, you know? Crisis averted. Incineroar revenges you, and your mental just takes, your mental takes that damage. All right, let's dive into this game number two. Oh, they're on game number two. Yep. How did, well, I see Vidrocker one game one. Was, how was it close? It was, uh, I would, I want to argue close. I think, I think it was, it was last stop. It was last stop? Or? Yeah. That's close enough in, in the books. Now, I wonder whose power-up song this is. I don't, it, no, it's got to be uh, Teddy's. Let's be real, because we all know Vidrocker likes to do, 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 do. 24 hours. That, yes, yeah. if, if that came out, he unironically. <laughs> oh my god, no. Ooh. That was kind of flashy. Almost ending his life right there. So, revenge is active. Oh, uh, yeah, you're dead. So you are the, a big the, dead. The thing about Incineroar is that side B has a huge grab box in the Yes. End. It's like he is the grappler. He is. I mean, when he has revenge, it's just terrifying. But even if he doesn't have revenge, it's just like a godlike it's anti a, Yes. Oh, my God. Pretty good. The fact that he, like, Look at He's doing it off the ledge. Yeah. Doesn't care. Short hop, do it, and get so much out of it. Oh, wow. Okay, okay there we go. He really it's like, okay, hey, calm down, buddy. He really wanted it. And Teddy's like, I know you really want yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, no. 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 Oh, no. Oh, okay, he's allowed to jump. Thank God. I was going to say, don't risk it to Biscuit right there. Well, hold on. The crazy thing is that Teddy didn't die there. Because Teddy actually would have gotten spiked probably he to death. Yes. To death, bro. So he SDI'd or did some uh, magic to get out of it. So, yeah, you get to keep the stock. He prayed to the uh, Fire Emblem gods. <laughs> I just realized he also must love it. Sidero. These are some fast-ass games. Yes. <laughs> it's like, all right, getting out of here on time tonight. <laughs> <Yeah. Woo -wee. laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Wait, let's get everyone in Chicago playing in Sidero. That way yeah. we can run two brackets in one night. Two brackets in one night. <laughs> yes, sir. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, but uh, yeah, right now Vid Rocker is on the. Uh, never mind, I was about to say wrong side of the shoe right there. No, but, they're pretty evenly matched. Yeah. I really want to see the game three happen, so. Yeah. Bi bias aside, I, I. You know, anything could still happen. There is 0.0%. .0 yep. And what was that, Lyle? Oh, game five. Oh, yeah. Best of five, yeah. Oh, we're all going to get into game we're, three. We're getting another game no matter what, folks. Well, potentially another two games. Man, Teddy is really good at, like, spacing Lucina. And obviously, if you're a Lucina main, you must be. Yeah. But he's just so good at throwing out, like, he has that tempo, you know, when yeah. you see him playing Lucina. Yeah. Really good safe moves. Not doing anything too crazy. Unless, oh, my. You are not dead. You are not dead. Not dead, at, but are like, you sure? 50 off the ledge. That's egregious. Yeah, you might yeah be now dead. you're dead. I mean, you might be dead, though. No, you're definitely dead. He's just got to respawn in the next game. Incineroar was what Ganon wishes he could be. Incineroar wishes he could deal with zoning with just down B and have a better recovery. All right, contested game two there. Honestly, you know, Teddy was had a big lead until Incineroar worked his magic, hit one side B, and it was over. And just said, Incineroar, and won the game. Incineroar. Incineroar. Three, two, one, go. Man. Yeah, let's go, Guile. 
Splash kick. Sonic Boom. On, on, on. Uh -oh. He got two revenge up airs. He got two of them. So, I, I hope Teddy knows there is some fat Incineroar counterplay that everyone needs to know. One, if you grab Incineroar, revenge goes away. Yes. Two, if he side knees you, you can press shield at the right time to just break out of side knee. These are two things. Uh, I'm, well, there's some so. counterplay to side knee. Because I, I wasn't shaking his head. Run because away. I have <laughs> spreading misinformation. Misinformation on purpose. But hold on. Or, or maybe, <laughs> well, maybe someone misspread information to me, <laughs> and now I <laughs> am spreading it Mis upon your, to you. The Incineroar propaganda. The propaganda keeps on flowing. <laughs> All right, someone told me, may maybe this is false, that if you press uh, shield at the right time, you will break out of side beat. Nah, that's lies. Okay. Oh, you oh, hold no. shield, you're going to hear Incineroar. Game. Now you're going to hear that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to hear that anyway. <laughs> All right, but, but the first part wasn't a lie. If Incineroar has revenge on deck, you, you got to go for a yeah, goal fight. Yeah, hit him with the grab before he hits you with the grab. I, I, I can't say that. If you can you can grab check it, technically. Yeah. Because, so if you grab at the same time he grabs you, technically you can grab out of it. I'm yeah. in the mix, by the way. But that's the only way you can really like stop it. But once he grabs you with the initial hit, you're grabbed. Okay, well. <laughs> Good for Incineroar, bad for his opponents. Yeah, I found that out today that oh, I keep my uh, Okay, so you can't get the strong hit if you have revenge on deck. Yeah. Or maybe he did. I don't know. Timing. Well, no, but sometimes Incineroar actually wants the upwards angle because it'll kill off the top and yeah. it'll kill off the side. Ooh, the big cat be coming through. Bang, bang, bang. Look at him jumping. The other crazy thing about this cat is his recovery is much better than people yeah. like to say it is. You think he's not going to come back to stage, but he's coming back. Yeah, he has a jump, an air dodge, a side B, and if you hit him, you can get a side B again. Yep. Strong landing, hitbox, and oh. armor on up B. The revenge. And revenge. Revenge is a recovery tool. You try to hit spent. him? Yeah. It's revenge. almost like focus. Like, honestly, it's, and I want to say better focus, but like a side grade to focus. Uh oh. Uh, yeah, so, so see, in that situation okay. is actually where you checkmate in Sinora, right? Yeah. Because one weakness of this character is when Recovery. he recovers, he's going to side B first. Yep. No, like his rec that's what I'm saying. Because he kind of has to. It's right, linear. exactly. Because if he up B's first, now he has no money. Yeah, he's done. That's, that's his last option, right? That, that's, that's the wrap. So. And if he air dodges, he's going to be out for a while. And if he burns his jump, he burns his jump. Oh, yeah. my God. He's, oh. This guy's at 200%. Oh, the third is 50%. Hey, at least. At least the revenge got spent. Okay, we got the up air. That's that's rough. That that's rough. I Ooh. Teddy is definitely keeping pace here with Vidrocker, oh, but no, no rage Jab needed. Jab the fingies. No revenge needed. And then that's a clean three zero right there. That's the strongest F tilt in the game, by the way. It that really is, is not, though. No, no, like it is actually, actually. The earliest killing F tilt in the whole game. Are you sure stronger than Cassius? Yeah, I think so. I, I think oh, so. you know what? I'm right there with you. I think so too. I think it's I think it's kind of bu busted. Bu 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 busted. Yeah. So you know, man. Good set. I, I I'm of an Incineroar fan. I mean, I was I before too. Sky J, but now I'm like yeah. Incineroar fan. Incineroar sickle mode. <laughs> sickle. Mode. Yeah. That <laughs> that's an old meme. I like that one. Sickle mode. <laughs> so I'm gonna complain. I got eliminated by my bracket demons. Now I'm like 0 and 6 against one power and 0 and 20 against Earl. Earl, damn. Woo! I hate it here. <laughs> I eliminated one of my bracket demons today, and then uh, Iano and I are keeping it pretty even. I yeah. like that. Iano and I had the run back we played a couple of weeks ago, and he did a lot better this time. Yeah. But that man's studying. Sora does be camp and Kirby though. Yeah. So does Hero, and I should do it more. But I like to. Go in. Replay. replay. So this is a new feature. We got these flashy little replays now that will show you exactly all the best moments of the set. Exactly. So do you like uh, capture them as you're as you're watching the set and then save them for for this moment? Uh, it's it's very interesting uh, how the, the R system uses it. Essentially, it just saves like a, a data file. So it says like it's it's basically how Smash does it. Where you say it saves like the, the timestamps for everything, so it, it technically saves less like rendering time. This okay. is all just one big video file, basically. We got. So it's just replaying the earlier video. Yes. Nice. 
Yeah, this is, this is super cool. I guess, like, the thing is, who des like, what decides what gets replayed? Like, what if there's some... Okay, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Silas decides. Because, you know, what if there's, like, some f fancy jank and someone so got, got hit... He says, me. Yeah, someone got AI. hit with the, like, wahoo-hoo-hoo, and then you... We used to, we used can, we, to, can we catch that again? Yeah. Back in the old days, uh, like, early uh, ignitions, 